Welcome back here with Half Time Report. Uh, the stock we want to focus on now is Omax. Uh, the stock is pretty flat in trade uh, today, but it came out with numbers yesterday. It's a steady set of earnings this quarter. Uh, the stock is also inching closer to its 52 week high of 140. So let's see if there's uh, enough momentum over there. The earnings, uh, like I said, were steady, although profit has seen a big bump up this time around because of the lower finance costs. Mohit Goel, the CEO of Omax, now joins in. Hi, Mohit. Thanks much for speaking with us. I want to quickly get to your segmental breakup because we're expecting a lot of earnings today. So I want to ask the important questions first. Um, you know, construction forms almost a quarter of your revenues, right? But uh, if I see now in your PNL, it looks to be margin dilutive to me. Is that going to be continue to remain a focus area for you? Or are you going to increasingly shift more focus towards real estate? Absolutely. Uh, so why why you see the construction uh, expense going up in our balance sheet is because of the fact that we've completely started focusing on the built-up area. Before that, we were focusing on plotted development where construction used to never happen. But now, because our average rate of realization has also gone up from 3,000 to 4,500 rupees per square feet, mm -hmm. and we are focusing more on construction. Uh, as we are in Tier 2, Tier 3, the cycle of Tier 2, Tier 3 of any township projects, it starts with project development and it actually shifts to the uh, built-up area. Right. And now this is, the site, this is the phase of that, those particular projects where, where we are in, where we are selling most of the uh, built-up units and uh, that's the reason the construction expense has gone up. All right. Hi, Mo. And thanks. you'll see that in future to go up further. All right, Mo. Thanks so much uh, for joining. So that point's well taken uh, then. But uh, focusing on one of the bright spots of your numbers, you know, your uh, total area sold, if I take a look at it in a uh, million square feet, that has bumped up a good 150%. The value of booking as well is higher by closer on 230%. Give us some clarity. Your total value of booking is around 650 crores, 660 crores. When exactly does uh, do these numbers hit your revenue recognition uh, and will they reflect uh, in your profit and loss account? Uh, this quarter we majorly launched two projects, one is in Lucknow, another one is in Chandigarh and both of them are group housing hmm. and those are the two major contributors to 650 crores. Okay. Uh, if I talk about Chandigarh, Chandigarh would be hitting our revenue, uh, revenue P&L account uh, in say this year itself or next year maximum and Lucknow for sure next year. Okay. Uh, Mohit, uh, uh, you know, as of the end of this quarter, your debt still stands at uh, uh, a little over 1,000 crores, if I'm not wrong. And I think you have uh, in excess of about 400 crores in terms of repayment coming up over the next few months. Um, do you have uh, the money already for these uh, repayments? And also, what's the plan to bring your finance cost uh, down lower still? I mean, what's your debt repayment looking like? So debt repayment, as we've already said, we've, we've been uh, doing it with our internal accruals. We are very comfortable in terms of our debt uh, mm. levels. 1,000 crores, it brings uh, our net debt equity ratio to around 0.38. Mm. Uh, so which is like more than comfortable because if you say, see our net debt, it's around 800 crores because we have around 250 crores in our cash balances. Right. So I, I'm not seeing, in fact, reducing my debt this year. There's a probability that I'm going to increase my debt, say, from 10 to 20 percent, depending on the opportunity. As you'd be seeing, that a lot of opportunities will be thrown to this uh, sector mm. in terms of smart cities by the government. Correct. So there's a probability if if we find something interesting, we would raise uh, debt to get hold of that particular opportunity. All right, Amod, let's get this number straight. You're at around 1,100 crores in terms of total debt. You have a payment of around 400 crores. And after that, yet you're looking to raise some debt because you have a lot of construction that's going on. Am I getting that point right? Absolutely. It's not, it's not the construction activities I'll be raising debt for. I'll okay. be raising debt for further future, future. developments. Okay. All right. Uh, let's focus on your, uh, you know, you're talking about your average uh, realization uh, per square foot. That's bounced up by a good thousand bucks, as uh, you were telling us. Break that up for us, commercial as well as residential. That's one and the second point. Do you see it move from around that 4,200 by 10, 20 percent? What's your take on that? So uh, the major reason why it has gone up from 3,000 to 4,500 is because uh, on an average, all our tier 2, tier 3 cities right. are giving us an average rate of realization of 3,500. The project which we launched in Chandigarh, average rate is, over there is around 4,500. Plus the commercials which we've sold, it's, the rate is around 7,000 on an average if you we, if we see. And that's the reason our average rate of realization has gone up. If you see for future, I think it's not going to be 10-15% jump in these numbers, but around 5-10% to 10%, I can say it's going uh, to jump year on year.
All right. Uh, and Moda, I also needed to ask you about, you know, your effective tax rate. I mean, it appears uh, to a layman, if you just look at it, that uh, the tax outgo is uh, rather high because, you know, if you look at it on your tax paid upon your PBT, could you give us some clarity about that? Where exactly should this uh, tax rate stabilize going ahead as well? I think uh, you'll see it stabilizing end of this financial year. Okay. This is only because of the ATIB we went in in the past. We were taking ATIB benefits and that's the reason you did not see our tax rates high in previous uh, financial years. Mm -hmm. Now we've stopped taking benefits of ATIB because we've finished all those projects which were under ATIB. Okay. So uh, tax rates which you see, it's going to be stabilizing in end of this financial year. All right. Give us some guidance for this year on a revenue recognition in a profit and loss account. Uh, going ahead, should we see this run rate of around 330 crores or do you see it move towards uh, 400 crores? And for this year itself, what could be the revenue number that... Uh, all right, I think we have uh, snapped that uh, connection as we speak. But nonetheless, management sounding pretty confident. They appear that uh, they're going to be uh, cutting down on their uh, debt moving ahead. And maybe, in fact, after paying off uh, that uh, due, uh, that debt that's due, they'll be taking more debt as well. But a reasonably confident management. A quick check on the Nifty, though. It's uh, currently moved absolutely nowhere. The mid-cap index as well, doing quite well, as we saw at the start of the show. But with that, it's a wrap on a half-time report. Business Lunch will take all the action forward. Stay tuned.